You know, they say that when life gives you lemon, you should make lemonade. I don't really like lemonade, but I guess it's better than a lemon. Yuck, who wants a lemon? And that's really what we've had to do with our unfortunate reality because we live in a reality where something like Surface Neo can be announced but then never actually be delivered. We never actually got this thing. And, and that's just not fair, right? I mean, that's just not, it's the worst of all possible worlds. But what did we do? Well, you know, there were other options. We kept an open mind. And then here comes Lenovo. And they delivered something that, granted, is not the same as the Surface Neo. But I think it's pretty much the closest thing that we've seen so far, the ThinkPad x1 fold and what we have here is a folding oled screen this is meant to signify folding for some reason there are many other gestures i could have chosen but for some reason that's what i went with this is the x1 fold it is a as i said a folding oled display and this was really early on this thing came out like literally a couple of years ago at this point ran a core i5 processor ran full windows 10 there's some software tweaks in there when you put it into a slightly bent posture you could see it is then acting as though it has two separate screens neat right Apparently, it's good for astronaut use. And then, of course, it can be folded up quite small. Look how tiny that thing is when it's fully folded up. There's some leather or maybe some faux leather on the outside, which gave it a nice premium look. You had a keyboard you could set on top of the bottom screen, exactly like Surface Neo. A little pin. It actually had pin support. Crazy. Just like... Surface Neo it had a little kickstand in the back so you could set it up fully and fold it, set it down, put your keyboard with your trackpad in front of it. There was a lot of stuff to like here. Now, that being said, very early on, right? Some of the stuff is not maybe fully baked. A lot of their software tweaks and so forth really weren't that awesome. The reviews were pretty middling. But like I said, we didn't get the thing that we wanted. We didn't get Surface Neo, right? So the ThinkPad X1 Fold kind of the only thing that we got and luckily today we have a trailer actually it would have been yesterday there is a trailer released by lenovo teasing the next gen thinkpad x1 fold let's take a look at it now there's no blueprint for innovation each flash of brilliance changes our perspective propels us forward and lays the foundation for what comes next. But innovation doesn't happen without being bold, curious, flexible. We reimagined what a PC could be. Then we created it. And we're hard at work on the next big thing. Okay, and there was a lot there in that brief trailer, but we're going to kind of go through this as frame by framey as we can. We're going to try and pick out some interesting details. All right, we have the video downloaded now, so let's start playing through this and see what we can see. They start off by showing a bunch of folding devices sort of through the years, their own laptops, their own 360 laptops. How about the original Moto Razor as well as the last gen Moto Razor? Keep an eye out for the next episode of News Radar because we're going to be talking about the Moto Razor 2022. More stuff has leaked. We have some real life images of it now to show you. But that is, of course, the last-gen model. Then we see the last-gen model of the X1 Fold. And pay attention to kind of what we're seeing here. Look at the size of these bezels. Pay attention to that keyboard because these things are both going to be changing. As we jump forward, flips around, it begins to fold, and we whoosh into it. And now we are swooping along a keyboard. And what is that right there? But, of course, that big red nub, the thing Lenovo has used for years. Put your finger on it, you move it around, and that moves around your cursor. So it appears that the next X1 Fold is going to have that, maybe a trackpad as well, but definitely at least going to have that nub, which is a nice addition to see. Then the Fold actually starts to slide into the screen. And what do we have here? Look at those bezels. Look at the size of those bezels, and look at the size of those bezels. It is a significantly smaller bezel on the new version, and that is always good to see. I think they've left enough there, though, to make it hold onable. I think that's the thing that a lot of people get wrong, is they go to no bezels on tablets, and you have no way to hold the thing. Well, you need a little bit, and they've left a little bit. I'm, I'm good with this. 
Now, unfortunately, we can't really see much about the hinge here. On the prior model, the hinge kind of had almost like this accordion thing going on where it was able to bend like that. We can't really see much of anything here to really be able to compare that. Of course, now we're swooping through the actual curved display. It is opening back up. Could we see anything there, though? You can just make out a little bit of that interior hinge there. And does that look significantly different to that? I think it does. Now, it's kind of hard to say for sure because I can't really tell where the bezel is. We've already seen the bezel. We know how big it is. I can't really tell much from that. That looks like the bezel is almost non-existent. So hard to draw many conclusions from that angle. And of course, we see here ThinkPad X1 now powered by Intel V Pro. So of course, they've had to grab a new processor because the Lakefield processor that they initially used has been discontinued. It was only around for about a year and then it was gone. If I'm not mistaken, that's the same class of processors Neo is going to use. So it's using something newer now, Intel V Pro. And here's a question. Is this the back of the device? The original had, like I said, that faux leather thing going around. This looks like some sort of textured thing as well with a big logo there on the side. Is this what it's actually going to look like on the back? Maybe. And then we get one last look at it here. And again, you can't really see much. But one thing that is odd about that hinge is it looks like the bezel's thicker here and then thinner at the hinge itself. Interesting design and it kind of explains what we were seeing on that perspective earlier on in the video. And that pretty much brings us to the end of it. I personally am really excited to see this thing coming. I know Asus is making their own very similar device. Folding OLED devices are coming. Interestingly enough, Microsoft is sort of putting the onus on the actual manufacturer to make the software make sense for their device. They're not making anything into Windows to make it good with dual screen or folding devices. Whereas, you know, just a few short years ago, they were all in seemingly on dual screen devices. That project is now apparently dead and they're not really giving anybody any help at all from what I've read. So it would be really interesting to see what Lenovo was able to come up with, how they can improve the folding OLED Windows 11 experience. Definitely stay tuned to the channel as more news does break. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, Stay nerdy, my friends.